Hey, today we're going to make a really quick, easy shrimp creole. Now there's a couple of different variations that you can add to this. You can add bacon, sausage, or you could even use catfish or some other fish with it. Well, here's all we're going to need and how we put it together. Well, of course, we're going to start off with our shrimp. I'm using a pound of shrimp, a stalk of celery, one onion, and you see cut fairly uh, small, but not super small, one green pepper, a 16 ounce can of diced tomatoes, or better yet, if you have uh, fresh tomatoes, and I'm going to use uh, red pepper uh, rather than cayenne, a cup of chicken broth, use a tablespoon of garlic, a little bit of oil to saute everything in, and as an and as an additional option, I'm going to hit a little bit of uh, oyster sauce in it. Let's head to the stove. Well, as usual, I'm getting ready to cook and realize I forgot to mention we're going to also use some thyme in this. So we want to get the skillet hot first, add our oil, just enough to cover the bottom. And I always like to add the garlic next and kind of saute the garlic and the oil, kind of like infuse the flavor of the garlic in there. As soon as that starts to brown, we'll add our onions. Uh, celery, and green peppers. We'll saute that for a short time, just until things get translucent. You can see our onions are starting to get translucent, and there's some little sheen to them, and that's all we really need on that. Now we're going to add our tomatoes, and I don't drain them, keep the sauce. Add our water, our broth, a few of our red pepper flakes, as, you know, to taste. The thyme. If I had the fresh and my garden were going good, that would really be nice in this. And on the uh, oyster sauce, I'm just going to use a few drops. Don't need a lot of this. Right there. Now we'll turn this down, simmer it, let all of these flavors cook together. This will finish cooking the uh, peppers, onions, and celery the tomatoes, and we're going to let that cook down and reduce a little bit and it will enhance the flavor. Now before this cooks all the way down, now we'll add the shrimp. Let that continue to simmer and cook the shrimp. Well, I wish the video could have aroma with it. This smells so good. And that's all there is to it, guys. You can serve this over noodles. We're going to serve it over rice. Uh, that way all this broth, the rice will just soak that up and make it all the better. Now this whole dish only took about, from start to finish here, we've been less than uh, 15 minutes to have dinner ready. So until next time, bon appetit!